Welcome to IFS Insider. I'm Wyomi, Director Program Manager for User Experience in R&D. In this video, let's look at how we can configure the appearance of IFS Cloud. It all starts in the Appearance Configuration page. This is where we create appearances. Let's go to the application. Open the application menu, Appearance Designer, Appearance Configuration. Let's create a new appearance. There are two types of appearances, Global and Custom. The core appearance is the original appearance of the application. A global appearance is created to set the foundation branding. It will affect all users. Custom appearances are layered on top of the global appearance. They are each created for a specific set of users. Let's select global for this one. The next step is to add a customer's branding using the appearance properties. Appearance properties allow us to change the background colors, text colors, fonts, text, and images such as backgrounds and logos. Let's go back to the application and add a property. W for web, appbar color. Guidance on how to add values depending on the type can be found on the top of the page. Let's get the color value from the customer's branding guidelines. While we're setting up the appearance property, we can preview them on the application. Let's go back into the application. Here we have a new global appearance with multiple properties and a custom appearance called production, which has one appearance property set up for a background image. Let's go to the welcome screen. App menu, appearance designer, under preview, all the global appearances are listed. Select the global appearance and then global to preview only the global appearance. Select the global appearance and then a custom appearance to preview the combination. On the preview mode, the blue band shows our selected appearance combination. Once we are happy with the appearances, the next step is to map them to a user. This is done in the Appearance Context Mapping page. Back in the application, we can go into this page through Application Menu, Appearance Designer, or by selecting Context Mapping on the Appearance Configuration page. All the appearances are listed in this page. Global appearances are automatically mapped to Context Full. For custom appearances, we need to set up the Context Mapping. We can find guidance on how to do this on the top of the page. For this one, let's set the context to user group prod. The next step is to activate the appearance in the application by publishing them. Only one global appearance can be active at a given time. So let's unpublish this one first. Let's select our two new appearances and press Publish. Now, when a user matching the context mapping logs into the application, they will see the combined appearance in the application. Let's recap. With the Appearance Designer, we can bring in a customer's branding into the application. We use the Configuration page to create appearances. Global appearances override the core and affect across the application. Custom appearances override the global appearance and are intended for specific users. We can test the appearances using preview option. In the mappings page, we map the appearance to a user using the application context. Publishing the mapping activates the appearance in the application. Now it's your turn to try it out. And don't forget to subscribe to IFS Insider. And please subscribe to IFS Insider.